Hi everyone, this is Dee with a paper drawer. I want to share with you the assembly of this stacked envelope journal made out of a file folder. Um, I tried to do kind of a step-by-step, -step, but I really can't do it. So I thought I would just go ahead and talk through it. It's pretty simple, um, but I thought I would just take a minute and show you. So this is the folder, okay, and I just scored it, and it folds in half. This is all copy paper or one-sided scrapbook paper. I don't want it real thick because it causes a lot of bulk, um, and it's not a real big journal. Um, it just has several pages in it, but it's it's um, got a nice amount of paper. So I glued this down, and... I've got the inspiration from Robin Dudley Howes. She did this probably a little over a year ago. She got inspired by Burlap and Daily Bread and Dawn Meadows. So she saw it there. She did her own little spin. And of course, that's what inspires us. So I did a, a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Robin just put this paper right in the center. So she had manila folders showing on the top, sides, bottom, all around. Okay, I don't think she covered this either, but I like kind of a finished look. So a 12 by 12 piece of scrap paper works perfect. One sided, okay. And what I did here, of course, is I just laid it down behind and I traced around it. Oops, sorry. I traced around it, okay. Doesn't matter where you cut it because this is going to be probably pockets. So I just brought it down a little bit and then just tore it off. Okay. The same thing I did with this piece here. This is scrapbook paper. And I made it all one piece. You could stop it here um, if you want. I just made it all one piece. So I just took a piece of scrapbook paper again. And I went ahead and traced around. And I brought it all the way down. Okay. So that worked out well. This is a digital kit. It's from My Porch Prints. It's called Industrial Grunge. She had several sheets in the kit. I mean, they're all really, really good. So this is what I, I basically use for this because I really like it. So this is the first part of it. And what I've added to mine was um, pockets on the inside or envelope stacks on the inside. Okay. And once these are made, what you're going to do is you're going to glue just the flaps to one another. Okay. Don't glue down here because that's um, where, um, you know, you can see it when it flaps open. So you glue all the flaps together and try and get it as tight as you can. Um, so there's going to be a gap because by the time you collage or mine, it's almost like a little piece of cardboard. So once you attach all the flaps, okay, what I do is I put it right on top of this, okay? And then what I do is I take another piece of thin scrapbook paper. This is actually a digital, and I'll lay it right over there to hide the flaps. Okay, so it goes something like this, okay? And I like that because it, it collages. What you could do too is if you want to center this page or pull it over to the side like I did, you can always put a little bit of collage here. Okay. The other thing you could do, and I thought about it the first time, is you can open this up and you can slip this in here. Then you won't have to worry about doing anything here. Okay. But if you do it here... I would suggest that you cover this with another piece of scrapbook paper because if you make this a pocket, okay, you can just cover it. It doesn't have to be fully, but you can just, you know, get a strip and, and cover it up to here. Um, because the paper that you or tags that you put in here, it'll probably get snagged on this if you don't. So it just will make it go in a little bit smoother. So that's an option. You can do that. Um, I'm not going to do that because I like the collaging. Um, on this side, and this is how I've done mine, and, and I like it. It works. So I would do this here, 
and then this folds over and then these flap. Okay. So that's the inside and then this folds over. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll actually kind of trim this up to make it even and everything. So this is the front. You'll do the same thing with the front envelopes. You'll glue the flaps all together. Okay. Position the envelopes as you want them. And staggering, of course, is going to look nicer. So I did the same thing with this one. Okay. So this goes here. And then you'll alternate the flaps. But just for now, this goes here. Okay. Before you glue these down, or the flaps down, you need to put in your ties. So I would look at this and see, you know, you don't want it too low or anything. Um, if you want it centered, you can center it. Just bring it down a little because you'll have to put another tie on it or in it. So this won't go across, but you can see where you would tie it. So I would probably, I could go right to the center. So I take a piece of string and I'll go ahead and lay it on the edge. And here's another one. This string will go ahead and keep the envelopes uh, closed so they're not flapping around. Okay, so you're going to just lightly glue those down to hold them in place. Then you want to get some seam binding or some other type of closure. I use seam binding. Okay, and you want to put it kind of right above it, just on the right hand side. The seam binding is going to close the journal. The strings close the cover uh, envelopes. Okay, so this is what you want to do right here. Okay, so I just tack that down with glue. And then I get my envelopes. This is the left hand side. I'll go ahead and position it where I want it. Open the flap. Put the glue all along here. And put it down. Okay. Then you've caught the string. There's a the string. Then what you can do um, is when you tack those down, that was the wrong one. Let's see. Oh, here. You can go ahead and on this side do the same thing. Just make sure you've got that little bit of seam binding or some other closure kind of together. And you're going to take this one and glue all along here and put it down. Take it right to the edge. Okay. So then you have this. And then what it'll do is you'll alternate them. And then this ties this closed here. Okay, so that's for that. When you're done with that, you can open it all back up again. And what you're going to do is, these are down like this. You're going to take a piece of paper, scrapbook paper, whatever, and you're going to go ahead and cover this whole inside. Okay, so this is covered. This is short, but... It'll be all covered. So glue this down. And then this folds right over it. Okay. I'll probably use scrapbook paper for mine to have one continuous sheet. Then you can make a pocket here. If this is here like this. You can make a belly band. You can make a pocket. Something else. Again, not too much bulk though. Because, again, you've got your envelopes and everything. And you want them um, not to lie flat, but you want them to close nicely. Okay, so that's that. And with this in here, it's pretty light. So that's what that looks like. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and tell you the other part too. So this front is covered. And when you go around to the back, you're going to cover this with scrapbook paper also or something, some kind of paper. But don't forget, I say seam binding, line it up with the front one and put it here because you're going to cover it with scrapbook paper or something here. And that will be your back. Okay. I think what I might do on mine, this time I'll try it, is I think... I will make this just one continuous piece. Maybe get Tim Holtz or something and just cover the whole back. Let's see what I did on this one. Yeah, on this one, my first one, I just took it right to the edge. And you can see the manila folder, which is not a big deal. But it might look nicer um, and cleaner if I do that. The envelope probably should have come over a little bit more towards the front. It's hanging over the edge. But again, this is my first one. So just little things to look out for. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so that's that. It's pretty quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and um, do this. I'll come back. Um, I'll show you the center. I'll show you the closure. And I guess what's really kind of popular now are really big tags. So I might make tags and put them in here in the pocket. I'm, I'm going to leave this as a pocket, though. Okay. So that's that. And again, I'll go ahead and be back with part two. And that should finish it up. But that's how you put this together. All right. Thanks for watching.